thank you for joining me tonight. Tonight's our meditation on patience. And I just wanted to start first by talking a little bit about what I've learned about impatience from my readings. And that's that impatience is when you have your energy out in future time and you're unable to create what you want because your energy is out in future time. And when you're out in future time, you're not in communication with Supreme Being. So the two things that are the most important um, factors about finding your patients have to do with getting yourself back into present time and staying in communication with Supreme Being. So I have a meditation plan for tonight, and we're going to use a couple of different tools tonight. We're going to use our timeline, which is simply creating a line starting from the left side of your screen to the right side and marking the center with a rose. And this rose is supposed to represent you in present time. So we're going to be using that timeline and reading the energy on the right side of the line tonight, which is our future timeline. And then the other thing we're going to be doing in this meditation is using what's called neutral purple energy. So when I tell you to use neutral purple energy, what you do is imagine that you have a handful of this neutral purple energy and you're going to toss it at the timeline. And what neutral purple energy does is it highlights whatever energy you're looking for. So when we do use it, what you're going to be highlighting is your own energy. So, and I'll remind you of that when we get there. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and place your feet flat on the ground, hips distance apart, and start to bring all of your awareness right into the center of your head, behind your eyes. And let's put a brand new grounding cord down. So go ahead and drop the one that you have on your body right now, drop it into the center of the planet and put a brand new one down, anchoring it to the center of the planet, and then put it on full release. And you can sit back and let gravity do the rest. All right, now that you're grounded, let's go ahead and release a couple of kinds of energy that I think have to do with patience or impatience. And um, the first energy that I want you to look for in your own space is the energy of expectations. Wherever you might be holding on to expectations, go ahead and let them go and send them down your grounding cord. Good. And the next energy I want you to look for is the energy of judgment. Judgment is an energy that will kick you out of present time because it's painful. So look around your space for judgment and let that go down the grounding cord too. And the last energy is hurry up energy. Look to see if you're holding on to any hurry up or rush energy and let that go down your grounding cord. Good. 
All right. Well, now we're going to use a timeline for this particular meditation. And with your eyes closed, I'd like you to imagine that you have a big white movie screen out in front of you. And you're going to draw a line from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. And go ahead and visualize a rose planted right in the center of that line. And that marks you in present time. And you can go ahead and put a grounding cord on the rose, grounding yourself to the center of the planet. And what we're going to do right out of the gate is toss a little neutral purple energy on the right side of the timeline, and that represents future time. So if you look at the timeline, the left side represents past time and the right side represents future time. And so I want you to imagine gathering up your ball of neutral purple energy in your hand and gently toss that out on the timeline, the future part of the timeline, and let that purple energy represent your energy. Let it find wherever you have your energy out in future time and that purple will stick to it. And whatever you find, I hope you have amusement about it. Go ahead and now we're going to put a grounding cord on the future end of the timeline so that we can start to ground this purple energy and make that grounding cord go all the way to the center of the planet and anchor it in. And why we're grounding the purple energy is so that we can loosen it up. Your energy is out on your future timeline for a reason. And we want to unstick it so that we can gather it up and get it back into your body. So go ahead and ground that and look out as far as you can see on the timeline how much of your energy is out there. Is it just a little or is it a big chunk of your energy? If you find that there's a lot of your energy out on your future timeline, this might explain why you might have difficulty bringing mock-ups in. So ground that purple energy. Also, how far out does your energy go in future time? Is it relatively uh, close to you? Like, is your energy just out in future time for this year? Or do you have your future time energy out um, decades ahead of you? So for tonight's exercise, I want you to find the farthest point out in future time where you find that purple energy and make sure you ground all the way to that point. And as you're grounding it, I want you to call your energy from future time and direct it back into the rows that you have set for yourself in present time. But the way we're going to do this is calling it back into a gold sun above the rows. That way, the energy, no matter what vibration it sits out on your future timeline in, um, whether it's worry or fear, any vibrations like that, if we bring it back in a gold sun, that will neutralize it. And using the neutral purple is a great way to actually watch your energy come up off your future timeline and go right into that sun because you can watch the purple move.
And you might notice that you get a certain amount of purple to move into the gold sun, and then the rest of it is not moving. And I would just say hello to that grounding cord and continue to ground whatever energies are sticking or making that purple energy stick. Good. Very good. I can see you moving the energy back into the sun. All right. Well, now you're going to bring the sun into the rose, representing you. And this is a way for you to get your energy back into your body in present time. So go ahead and fill the rose up with the gold sun. Good. We're going to do one more thing on our future timeline, and that's you're going to look for any roses on your future timeline to see if you have any of your mock-ups out on your future timeline. And I just want to remind you that your mock-ups don't actually belong on your future timeline. Your mock-up pictures belong in the center of the universe, so they can be magnetizing the matching energy to get created. So look to see if you have any roses popping up on your timeline representing mock-ups. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a gold sticky rose starting at the farthest point to the right that you can see. And that gold sticky rose, you're going to slowly move it on your timeline bringing all of the roses with that gold sticky rose back into present time. And as they come back into present time, you can just pop each one of those roses into the bigger rose. And I see a lot of creative energy coming back to you as you do this. All right. Now you have your energy in present time. And you can go ahead and put this timeline and the rose into a bigger rose and blow them all up. So we want to disperse all that energy. And I want you to just sit in present time and say hello to Supreme Being, Divinity. And ask, ask Supreme Being for hello to your vibration of patience and ask Supreme Being for a healing on it. Now you can look at a rose on your screen for your vibration of patience, excuse me, patience, as Supreme Being is giving you a healing so that you can watch what's happening to your patience as the healing progresses. And when that healing is complete and you can see the color vibration of your patients, go ahead and thank Supreme Being for the healing. And what you're going to do now 
is take some of that color of your patient vibration and bring it into your crown chakra. And go ahead and run it in a circle, clockwise motion, on top of your head. And let all that information on patience come right into your crown chakra. And as that patience rolls around in your crown chakra, let it trickle down your back channels so it can clean out your other chakras. And then you can create a, a sun above your head and fill that sun up with the patient color vibration. And with this sun, go ahead and fill in your body and all the cells of your body with patience. All right, you can bring in another gold sun, fill yourself up. And when you're ready, you can come on out of trance. Good job. That's our 20 minute meditation on patience for tonight. Thank you for joining me tonight. And I look forward to seeing you next Monday for our love healing. Got my eyes on you. Have a great night tonight. Bye-bye.